Michael with Smell Fresh Arizona. So, Michael, thank you very much for coming in and talking to us today. Thank you, Arnold. Yeah, yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, Michael, can you explain your business to us? Yeah, so it's kind of a weird business in that uh, we focus on smells. Uh, oh. We do odor remediation. Uh, we do a lot of other indoor air quality solutions, but our yeah. primary focus has been odor remediation. Odor remediation. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, my background's in engineering, then real estate, weird life transition there. But sure. <laughs> And then I kind of stumbled across a, a need I had in some uh, other properties of my own and couldn't find anybody specializing in odor remediation for the real estate community. And yeah. so kind of here here I am. Oh, yeah. very nice. So odor being like what? Uh, pet odors, smoke yeah. odor, cooking odors, yeah, different actually, things? Yeah, probably pet odors and tobacco probably make up about 90% of our 90%? service calls. Yep. And okay. then we also address cooking odors like curry. Yeah. Um, uh, decomposition if somebody maybe passes in okay. a home. Okay. Um, what else? Sewer. I mean, yeah. we, we've gotten some calls for some roof rats that died in the house, left some bad smells. Right. Too. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so you can uh, remediate all of those smells. Yes, sir. Yep. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's great. Um, why did you choose this profession? Why did you choose to get into this? Well, like I said, I kind of almost just stumbled into it, really, yeah. where I, I couldn't find anybody that uh, could take care of the needs that I had on, on, yeah. a, on a house that had a bunch of cats in it. It was a rental I owned and I couldn't yeah. find anybody to help me address the issue. So um, that's where kind of my engineering background kicked in a little okay. bit. And I did a lot of research and then a light bulb went off one day that, you know, suggested probably a lot of other uh, realtors have, you know, a need, but yeah. don't have anybody to call on. And so, yeah. you know, that's kind of where we, we how we've started really. Nice. That's, that's good. Now you mentioned, uh, Cat, o cat owners, and somebody was telling me one time, maybe it was you, that that uh, cat urine is one of it is a difficult one to deal with because it uh, crystallizes and you just can't get the smell out. Is that? That's right. It's got a very uh, strong chemistry, actually. Like cat urine is is almost uh, on par with skunk um, as far as its, its okay. chemistry, and so. Yeah. Um, if you don't, you know, a lot of people will tackle odors like with normal cleaning, right? You yeah. just kind of associate smell with something dirty and clean it in a certain way. But you really have to attack the chemistry of it in order to get, get the smell gone. You know, so. Okay. Being that uh, you're an engineer, you're able yeah. to understand that and attack the chemistry of it. Right. Uh, with me, I just spray stuff on and try and clean it up. Right, right. Yeah. So it seems normal, to get worse. Yeah. No, normal household cleaners don't take care of it. Uh, carpet cleaning usually does it. And so. Yeah. Um, like I said, we, we go out at the chemistry to neutralize it. Nice, nice. That's really good to know. Uh, um, Michael, what drives you? What motivates you? It, it, it's been a fun business in that we get uh, a lot of appreciation thrown our way, you know. So a lot of times you maybe take your, your car to the mechanic and ask him to fix it. And, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's kind of just, I don't know, business as usual. Yeah. But when people call on us, they've usually have tried a lot of things on their own. They've right. a lot of elbow grease, time and effort, time on the Internet, um, and yeah. usually a lot of money spent. You know, a lot of times people think that... Um, if you just change out the flooring and, and, or repaint a house, the smell is going to yeah. be gone. And so um, if they still have that frustration after spending a lot of money and they call on us and we take care of the problem, yeah. uh, people tend to show a lot of gratitude. So it's, it's, it's been really rewarding in that regard. Good, good. I mean, when I'm thinking about odors and just listening to you talk as well, um, I'm thinking about refrigerator odors, car odors. I know sometimes uh, people, I it's happened, you know, my, a friend of mine that uh, bought a car and they found out after they bought it, uh, this smell came from cigarette smoke in there. Is that something you can handle? Yeah, actually, we, those are typically the, the, the service calls we get when it comes to cars is okay. um, during the buying process, they didn't spend that much time in the car and, and yeah. next thing you know, they take it home, spend a little more time in the vehicle and then realize it does smell um, like cigarettes, so yeah, yeah. When we do cars, that's that's a really common one for us. Okay. Common scenario. And yeah. you can eliminate that odor. Yep, completely. Wow, yep. wow, that is yep. uh, that's really good to hear. It's a good good to know that that I I thought that that's an odor that yeah, it's there it's, for life. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's great. Um, what surprises you, Michael? Uh, well, I, you, we've, we've probably done well over two thousand properties since we've been in business the okay. last few years, and. Um, um, I'd like to think we've seen it all, but you know, once in a while we get again the funky roof rat, you know, right. in a strange place. Um, 
Uh, when we get commercial calls, like a big building that maybe has an odor issue, yeah. um, those ones, they, they, they take a lot of discovery process. So, um, right. you know, I, it's just, I don't know, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. day is different. <laughs> Every day is a new day. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like our real estate business. Yeah. Every day is a new right? day. So, yeah, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Michael? Yeah, so we... Uh, you know, in, in dealing with odors, it, it, it almost um, is an air quality thing, right? And so we've really kind of expanded uh, in that direction as well. So we offer long-term air quality solutions for people that have uh, bad allergies. Okay. Um, or maybe they just, you know, need uh, a good example is like, like kids. So if uh, their kids have respiratory health issues or get, get sick often, we can um, put a solution in their home that basically neutralizes um, bacteria disinfects their, the air in the house 24-7, yeah. so that's that's a really neat area that we've expanded into. Yeah. And then a real popular thing now for uh, home buyers in particular is getting the air decks cleaned before they move in. Yeah. And they never know when it was last done, if at all. And, right. And we're finding, you know, 30, 40, 50 year old homes have never had the air decks cleaned. And so yeah. that's something that we do now it really complements our business of dryer vent cleaning too. Yeah. Um, I know personally a couple people have had their houses actually catch fire from yeah, clogged dryer vents and so it's something we kind of dismiss and take yeah. for granted but uh, it, it's definitely a real thing that yeah. you know something that should be done for people so yeah that's um, yeah there's no question about that I mean cleaning dryer vents and that sort of thing uh, I'm a victim of that oh, I had a house wow. fire because oh, of wow. my dryer vent uh -huh. uh, thankfully enough we were able to extinguish it and it didn't go further than the laundry room Good, good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, and, imagine uh, how many people like throw a load of, of uh, laundry in the dryer at, at bedtime too. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it, the house had been yeah. fully engulfed. Yeah. I mean, and it yeah. and it, it changed in size in seconds from right? the time yeah. I left the laundry room, got the fire extinguisher, come back. It was already quadrupled in uh -huh. size. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, it spreads fast. So Michael, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us today. Michael from Smell Fresh. Um, I just, uh, I, I think he's a guy that uh, everybody can use to clear their odors and that sort of thing in their cars, their houses, or anything like that. So thank you All very right, much, Thank Michael. you, Arnold. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.